Right now, the Metro Homeless Impact Division is going to each homeless encampment in Nashville, like Brookmead Park, to see who needs a new home. It is a new program the department started about six months ago, and since then, they have housed more than 100 people. WSMV's Marissa Sulik walked with the outreach team as they assessed who needs to be at the top of the list. As the outreach team makes their way into this homeless camp, members like Lakeisha Davenport, the one with the backpack, no places like this outreach or someone's home. Hey, how are y'all doing? We're with outreach. I'll give you best <laughs> Their goal is to get the homeless materials they need while also trying to see who desperately needs housing. And everybody says they're going to come back and give me help and nobody's ever helped. I'm so sorry for that. For Davenport, she understands where they come from because she was homeless too. The first thing is building a relationship, you know, for the area that you work in, like building, connecting with that person. She knows everyone in encampments across Nashville deserves housing, but the piece of paper on this clipboard allows her to assess who needs it first. So no matter where you go for me, I just keep getting thrown out like trash. This woman living in this encampment didn't want us to show her face or use her name. She's been homeless for 10 years. If people, they judge you out here when you're out here, they automatically assume that you're on drugs or you're an alcoholic or you're a prostitute. And that's not true. Davenport personally knows this is only the beginning of the process. Because it's not just getting them housed. You've got to figure out how to get them the services to get them better so they can stay housed. Because everybody wants to be housed. As for the woman we spoke with, Davenport believes she will be on the priority list. I got cold chills now talking about the lady we just talked about because that is that's the reason that I even get joy out of life is seeing joy when she got emotional because she knew right then that her her voice was being heard and to see that she's going to get that help she needs y'all and that's what it's about. Now the next steps after the outreach team comes out to these encampments is that they bring their assessments together and figure out who is priority for a new home. Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.